Bro, there is this fucking uh, video of this guy. Like, he spoils everything. He tells you the truth about where this this comes from, where goods come from. Adam spoils something. There's a show. With a guy. Oh, Adam ruins everything? Yes. That shit was he, great, but one shitty. Of, one of his last shows ever was about herpes. And he broke it down that he said, like, 96% of humans have fucking herpes. And 90% of those people have the thing where they don't show it. They spread like it. dormant. Yeah, they spread it, but they could they never get nothing. Well, a cold sore is herpes. Yeah, that's yeah, the herpes. Like a type. Yeah, that's, that's type one. That's like the basic type. And, and then, type two is the big old lump on your lip that's bleeding and shit. And then there's also sexual type. There's also like the same thing on your dick. Genitals and And then when you go oral. down to it, he, he tried to make it seem like it's all oh, no big deal. He goes, yeah, you might get a bump or two on your dick, but guess what? It goes away and you don't die. And I was all like, no, but that's still fucking gross. That's, that's, I, don't I don't want, want a bump shit. on your dick. Yeah, I don't want that shit on my dick. Like, that's nasty, dog. She could take a bump off my dick, but I don't want a bump on my yeah, dick. Yeah, and I might want to take a bump off her clip, but damn, Hell that's it. Yeah, I'm take a bump off her dick, too. <laughs> I said, Clint, fuck you. <laughs> yeah, I watched this movie Tangerine, though. That shit was a trip. What was that about? About fucking, uh, it was like these trans prostitutes, and one got out of jail and fucking came home and found out her pimp was cheating on her while she was in jail. And then I didn't finish it, though, so that's why I couldn't give her a, a trans. I just, watched that sh- I just watched that one the other day. She trans into a guy or trans into a girl? Tran- guy turned into a girl, but still has a dick. So cross dress, I don't fucking know what they're Damn. whatever they're called. Layers. Talk about layers. Yeah. So that one I'll come and do because I got to finish that one. I didn't finish that one. I fucking did. I watched uh, Three Thousand Years in Loathing, and Loading or Loathing. What the fuck is that? All right. So basically, this white girl, she's like a she writes books, a historian. She faints. She wakes up in the fucking um, they're like Morocco, and she goes to this place and buys a lamp. And it goes, takes back to her hotel. And then one day she wakes up and she rubs. She's trying to clean the lamp with her fucking toothbrush. Fucking genie comes out. In real life. And it's fucking Idris Elba. Idris, Idris Elba. Elba? Yeah. Plays a genie? And he's huge. He's like a giant with fucking elf. And then he fights a lion? And No. And then he fucking has to like tell the stories of all the times he almost escaped the fucking the, the three wishes. But he can never get a bitch to do the three wishes. And then she fucking finally falls in love with this fool. And like, it's a, it's a, it's, it's a trip, dog. Did they fuck? Yes. She fucks a genie? He fucked all his bitches. All the bitches. I mean, it's Idris Elba. He's fucking all our bitches, too. <laughs> and then he fucked He fucked all these fucking bitches, dude. Like, all the girls that were rubbing his, his fucking lamp to get him out, he fucked all of them. <laughs> You're rubbing his lamp. Yeah, but, I bet they are. I bet but, you are, you dirty whores. But he did it in such, like, a romantic, like, he, like, you know? Yeah, he's a genie. Genies make love. Genies don't fuck. And I feel the whole, like genies make love. The whole time they're all like, "We don't trust you. We know you're you're kind. You're a, they call him a the jing or something. That was a, the the name for a genie in the movie. With the hard R. Like, <laughs> and then they're all like, uh, "We know you guys are tricksters." And they're like, "Oh, we'll never trick you, baby. This and that. And you fucked all of them, dude. Damn. What's it called? Three thousand years in loathing. What's that shit on? It's on that website that I have. We got your sexy voice on right now. I do. I don't know why. It's because I feel like you just elbow right now. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. You're gonna be a DJ. And then he was—he has like hairy legs, yeah, dude. Hairy I used man. to go to school. Oh, I think sp- with speaking. Idris Elba. No, dude. Fuck. When I was in elementary, you had hairy legs. There was a family, a family with like older brother, middle brother, and little brother, and they had hair everywhere. Are they Armenian? I don't know, dude. But they had like thick black hair everywhere. Like you couldn't see their like skin. Like werewolves. Yes, dude. That's crazy. And they would call each each one. They had all the same nickname. Guess what it was? Harry. Wolfie. Fuck. I was going to go something like that. <laughs> Everyone, all of them, every grade, like, hey, what's up, Wolfie? Hey, what's up, Wolfie? Because, you know, Mexicans, man, we're going to clown you. Yeah. And, but you're still going to be the homie, but, like, oh, that's the homie, Wolfie. Obviously, you can tell he looks yeah, like, like a werewolf. Arabic or Arabic or something like that. Yeah, sort of yeah, they had to be something like that. Yeah. Because most of those guys, most guys in, 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 in the Middle East have, like, thick eyebrows. Or you got to protect them from the sun. And shit like that. But it was trip, dog. And, like, you could tell that they felt uncomfortable that we were, like, looking at them in a certain way. And then after, I don't know, after, like, middle school, I never saw them again. They must have moved or some shit. Fucking was it a full moon? That's probably why. Was, was it Taylor Lautner? Taylor, Taylor Leitner? I don't know if you noticed, but lately there's been a lot of red moons and blood moons. Maybe it was one of those things. Damn, what about the crypt moons? Mm, you're right. Damn, that's fucked up. Or the I haven't noticed though. G D. What is a blood moon? Is it like from fires? It just turns red. From fires? Or is it because Mercury's in power raid? Because mm. Mercury was in power raid not too long ago. Bitches were talking about that. I remember that. They were talking about all that shit. They were like, don't worry about don't worry about cheating on your man. Mercury's in retrograde. You're not <laughs> you're not yourself. Don't even worry about it. Yas. 
All that dumb shit. Do you know who's into astrology right now? Fucking Jordan, dude. Like, Aww. he has an app where he gay. he has an app where he turns he just turns it up and he's like, oh, that's Saturn, that's Jupiter, well, that's, that's kind of cool. And he, the app is like, and he goes, where's the dad for three days? Dad, where's the moon? I can't see the moon. <laughs> dad, tell me we're not. What do they call it? Tell me we're not in a fucking uh, simulation. <laughs> Where's well, the moon? Just, all right, that's fun. That's more conspiracy. Even <laughs> <laughs> hey, this little homie, my neighbor, my, my neighbor's son, whatever, he's like, they're over here, like, where's the moon? I guess the moon was like so low that you could only see it if you're by the beach. Mm-hmm. And it was like dark. Like it was a, a little sliver. You could barely see it. I've heard of that app, but I can't get it because I have an Android. But I heard that shit's cool. Where that like, shit's low key. You hold dope. it to the sky and like, it like, this is where, yeah, Venus and Jupiter. And but not Ryan's only that, you can go like, like through that. the galaxy and into those big clouds and like, yeah. other galaxies. Well, and that's shit. cool to actually look at the stars and shit like that. Is it called, is it astrology though when they like base their fucking emotions off of like the stars and shit? Or is that just a study of the stars? No, I something don't know, else. Dude. Horoscopes and shit. I thought horos- yeah. horoscope is not horoscopology. That's astrology. That's what it's it's horology or something like yeah, that. Only horse. Horoscopology or something like that. Yeah. Well, astrology is cool because that shit's a trip. Fucking just like being infatuated with space because that shit's just. I don't even think about it because it's just too much. Yeah, that's, yeah. You're just and like, what you're the probably, fuck? Like, why would you think about something that you're never gonna go up there? You're never gonna really gonna find out for yourself. But that's also when they say that we've studied more of space than we have of the ocean. I think that's bullshit. Unless they say we study more of our galaxy. It is or a bullshit. You know why? Because you know the guy that made t- Titanic and Avatar. What's his name? James Cameron. James Cameron. Well, he was actually uh, an oceanographer, and he used to work for the CIA. And he's the first. He's the guy that has like the longest deep dive in the in history, right? The world record. And he, I got good deep dives. So he went down the there deep dive. to look for Nazi submarines mm-hmm. and warships, and he found the Titanic. And he found the fucking Titanic, dude. Oh, he found the Titanic, and, and that's why he made the, the Titanic, and that's why he made the movie. Fucking Leo, fucking Leo, dude. Oh, I saw this fucking. And now he's out. Now he's the. He has the number one movie of all time, Titanic, and then he did Avatar that broke that record. And he's an oceanographer. He didn't even go to like to film school and shit. Hey, when you when you when, when you, you got great, it, when you great, you great. <laughs> I mean, it's just great. That's greatness right there. Everybody else going to acting school and directors go like, set, man, I'm out, yeah. but I away. This man <laughs> said his yeah, whatever you said. This man set his record. <laughs> this man broke the record and then broke his own record. That's some goat shit, right, bro? There. It's like it's like you ever go to a pickup basketball game. There's some big fat sloppy guy and you start playing and he just starts dropping dimes and like making every shot. You're like, what the fuck? Who the fuck did this go? Dude, a fucking fat athletic person is the most like dangerous. I love that shit because it's so deceiving. Like, you see a fat dude doing backflips and back handsprings and shit. You're like, how, what the fuck? You're like, how the fuck did you do that? I can't even, I mean, I'm not fat, fat, but I got fat, fat, and he's doing handspring or handspring back things. It makes me feel even fatter. I'm like, you bitch. I think when you're young, and you just like build that into your like your whatever your skeleton core, your memory core. And no matter how big you get, you can always do it, you know? So what you're telling me right now is you're about to hit a backflip. Ladies and gentlemen, watch them all hit a backflip. <laughs> well, you guys right like to now. watch our crazy shit. Here we go. Here we go. <laughs> Fuck that. Anything for the likes. Anything. And he's dead. That's the end of the lit outlet. So, okay, so 3,000 Years in Loathing, I saw. And then also there's a new show on Netflix called Mo. Now, the reason why. Yeah, with the. Uh, that. He was Islamic or something like that, and then he left the church or some shit like now, that. No, the reason why I watch it, so not because it's a guy that's 300, obviously 300 pounds with a beard, it's because his name is Mo, and he was speaking Spanish in the trailer. It's not that. Okay, it is that. That's the reason why. That's exactly <laughs> what it <laughs> is. It's basically me on TV. I so heard that's a good show, though. Hey, bro, great show. I heard it's dope. Think yeah. about ATL mixed with like a real life Peter, Peter uh, Griffin slash fucking... Um, Okay, so this in Houston, Texas. This guy's name Muhammad, so they call him Mo. He's 100% Muslim, but he has a Latina girlfriend. And his his mom doesn't approve because she's Catholic and she shows too much chichi, but the girlfriend loves the shit out of him and she'll try to convert him to anything, but she just doesn't understand that you can't be walking around with your titties out. Yeah. You know? And she goes, so somebody dies, she wants to go to the funeral, I want to go, like, all right, fuck it. So he, then this fool loses his job. He loses his job. He gets fired from. He's the best iPhone repair man in the world. But he of gets. Of course he is. <laughs> but he gets fired because ICE is coming and they have to fire him. So then he starts selling like uh, sunglasses and Rolexes and Yeezys out the back of his trunk, right? So then his, he has like a, like a slow autistic retarded brother. And then he goes, I'm going to tell mom you have tattoos if you don't go buy my cat some cat food. He goes, fuck that. Buy- mom, Mohammed has tattoos. Oh, shut the fuck up. All right, I'll go do it. So on his way after fucking slanging all that shit, he's at, the, he's at the supermarket, right? And this white lady selling hummus with chocolate. He's they're getting into the whole conversation. And then pop, pop, bullets go off. Bullets rang off. In the, in the, and then he wakes up in the ambulance and he got grazed. 
So they're like, all right, we got to get him. It's a mass shooting. He goes, wait, hold on. I'm fine. I'm not alive. I'm not dead, whatever. He goes, are you? And he tells him, get, the, get me the fuck off this gurney. I'm not paying $5,000 for a ride to the hospital. That is crazy. <laughs> Ambulance prices are fucking insane. So he runs to the tattoo shop with his Chino homie, like an Asian dude, but he like talks all black in his hood and shit like that. And he stitches him up and he gives him two pints of lean. He goes, oh, you'll be, high, you'll be fine with this. And then the rest of the show, he's just like addicted to lean. He has no job. He's trying to fight his... It's just such a good show, dude. You're Highly good. recommend it. You ever like lean? I never tried it. No? I wasn't a fan of it because I just go to sleep. I don't you think... just I, drink it. I'm just like, yeah, it's like, I'm good sleep. I guess that's how I look when I'm fucked up, too. Yeah, it's like, good sleep. Like in my party. To me, it's like, it's one of those things where like, the price is not worth it. If I was rich, probably, fuck yeah, fuck it, you know, but... It's just not worth it. Yeah. I got to be able to afford the drug I'm like. <laughs> I, like the, I like the uppers. Because I have an addicted personality. Like, I don't drink every day, but when I drink, you know. You drink. I drink. So when I party, I party, you know? So I, it's got to be something where even when I used to smoke weed, dude, like, it was so dumb. Like, I just fucking wake up in the morning, smoke, and then eat, and then go to sleep, and then whatever, do my thing, smoke, and then I'm like, I'm smoking to sleep. To sleep, and then I couldn't sleep without it, and I was like, ah, it's one of these things. Speaking of Catholic Muslims, I just jacked off to that Mia Khalifa porn the other day. Is it a new one? Nah, the old one with her and her stepmom and that Mexican lady when oh. they were in the hijabs and, and then shit. The, the boyfriend is a, a biker? Yeah. That's got to go down as like one of the best videos of That's all a time. Great, that guy's a lucky son of a bitch. That's that a classic. Like a fucking fun scene. That looked like a fun thing to film. They're both hot. Yeah. I don't, I don't like the Mia Khalifa slander. She is a weirdo, but like. She's a total weirdo. I still want fuck. I, I was like, uh, I don't know. You wouldn't fuck if she was here right now. She wanted to fuck us. You wouldn't fuck. Uh, Liar. Yeah, I would. There we go. I'm. I'm like a. It's, it's gonna sound so weird, but like, <laughs> I've done it multiple times. But like in front of everybody, like, all right, fuck it, I'll do it. You know, like, but like if it was just me and her and alone, I'd be like, eh, you know. But nah, like, you're crazy. Have you ever fucked in front of people? Yes. Hell yeah, that shit's fun. That's just crazy. That's dude. a good time. But I, uh, the ice machine agrees. <laughs> so have the I. ice machine agrees. <laughs> the ice machine just came. The ice machine. <laughs> That's what she's, I've been forgetting the fucks. ice machine just busted a nut all over the just busted coconut water all Don't you guys see me fucking the outlet? Plug me in, daddy. Mm, the fuck outlet. Oh, that could be the our fuck outlet. The fuck that'll be our outlet. porn. That'll be our porn hub channel. That's the our fuck porn hub channel. The fuck outlet. Oh, Ladies, have, if you want to come through and be on the fuck outlet. Or we should do is like have like an explicit Twitter where we just post our favorite porn. Like, oh today, today Twitter th- porn is the shit. Bro, I love Twitter I porn. I have a great idea. At 8 30, every time, like, or every time you bust a nut, like in your house privately, you post a so trade to Twitter. We both go, all right, at 8 35, Def Jeff jacked off to this video. And we just have like a fucking uh uh what is it called? Like a list of every time we jack off to a certain video. Hell like oh yeah. people, I don't people want go, you to see the videos I'm jacking <laughs> off to. People could like follow our playlists, you know? Hell yeah. <laughs> have you ever seen have you ever gone on the Pornhub and you seen on the Pornhub? Fuck, I'm 70 years old. Have you ever gone on Pornhub <laughs> and fucking seen like a trans video where the girl looks hot and then you hold the thumbnail and she has a dick? Yeah. Have you clicked it? No. I've never got the courage to click it, but no. she does look hot. But I'm like, ah. But also, what's wrong with that? Is it gay? It is gay. Why? Because there's a man with fake titties. But man's hot. Man's is hot. Man's is hot. Man, they say man's not hot, but that man's is hot. That's a hot man's. <laughs> and like, I look at it, I'm like, ah, I don't want to. That's why I always thought too. The worst thing is to like, if they ever just release everyone's Google searches or Pornhub searches. Yeah, that's when you really find out someone. A truth to dare thing that I did one time is pull out your uh, pull out your phone and let me see your Google searches. Yeah, no one ever takes it. It's truth to dare. No one ever fucking does that. And you're like, yeah, you're a dirty fuck. You're a fucking weirdo. <laughs> That's why you need to look at someone's Google searches. I wouldn't do it either. But like I have this thing where I just don't like to share my food, dog. Obviously. It's fucking weird. Like it just is you not don't say. <laughs> <laughs> like this is mine. Don't touch it. I don't want to give you some of my shit. Like I just hate sharing food. And we used to have this fucking lady that used to fucking clean our dishes and the, the fucking cleanup lady, dude. She was a nice lady, dude. Very nice Spanish speaking lady. Just typical like cleanup lady or whatever. Someone's mom. Yeah. yeah. And she lived around the corner too and then She's like, oh, oh, Moises, you have to launch it to mama si te quiere. Oh, your mom really loves you. I'm like, oh, that looks so good. Oh, my God. She's fucking licking her fingers and making these weird sounds. I'm just like, oh, this fucking bitch is making this shit. Begging ass lady. Fucking making it awkward, dog. And like, I don't know. I'm like that with all my stuff. My phone, my clothes, my shoes. I don't let no one borrow shit. Like, I'm just weird like that. The funny thing about sharing, too, is I remember, too, especially during COVID, when COVID was COVID, and everyone was all like, oh, fucking COVID, don't breathe on me or whatever. But they're all sharing their own, they're all sharing their vapes. Everyone has all these That's vape weird. pens. They're like, they're little nicotine vapes and shit. They're like, oh, fucking stay away from me six feet. Hey, can I hit that? Can I hit that? Like, that was literally in their mouth. 
Like, what the fuck are you talking? What the hell? Yeah, because I always look back on it now. Sharing joints, sharing blunts, sharing bongs, sharing pipes. I look back on it now. Like, how does not everyone have herpes? I was about to say, I feel like that's the number one spread of herpes. It's not sex. It's yeah. not make it. It's sharing blunts. It's because none of us are all here drinking fucking out, drinking out the same drink. Yeah, none of us are all here like fucking whores or like picking up prostitutes. Like Speak we're just for all. Yourself. <laughs> we're all getting fucking we like don't kiss prostitutes there's probably guys out there like getting herpes from their dads sharing the same cups and then they're all here smoking, sharing blunts and, and drinking Gatorade and shit yeah. that's how everyone got herpes dick touching the fucking toilet or some shit that little crazy shit like that also what the fuck happened to waterfalls yeah hey what happened hey let me get a waterfall people are too woke like oh really you're gonna waterfall me you think I have herpes like yes bitch I don't know yeah, you I don't know you <laughs> I don't know where your mouth's everyone been got that shit bro there's this fucking uh, video of this guy, like he spoils everything. He tells you the truth about where this this comes from, where goods come from. Adam spoils something. There's a show. Oh, Adam ruins everything. Yes, that shit was he, great, but one shitty. Of, one of his last shows ever was about herpes, and he broke it down that he said like ninety six percent of humans have fucking herpes, and ninety percent of those people have the thing where they don't show it. They spread it's like it dormant. Yeah, they spread it, but they could they never get nothing. Well, a cold sore is herpes. Yeah, that's yeah, the herpes. It's like a type. Yeah, that's, that's type that's... one. That's like the basic type. And, and type then, two is the big old lump on your lip that's bleeding and shit. And then there's also sexual type. There's also like the same thing on your dick. Genitals and And then when you go oral. down to it, he, he tried to make it seem like it's oh no big deal. He goes, Yeah, you might get a bump or two on your dick, but guess what? It goes away and you don't die. And I was all like, No, but that's still fucking gross. Still, I don't want, want a bump shit. on your dick. Yeah, I don't want that shit on my dick. Like it's nasty, dog. She could take a bump off my dick, but I don't want a bump on my yeah, dick. Yeah, and I might want to take a bump off her clip, but damn. Yeah, yeah, I'm taking a bump off her dick too. <laughs> I said, Clint, fuck you. <laughs> uh, another movie. Dude, I've been watching hella movies, obviously, because I have a lot of, my, a lot of time, got a lot of time on my hands. Movies are great, great, dude. Movies are Bro, fucking fantastic. Hocus Pocus 2. Was it good? It was not bad. Is it the same bitches? It is. Is Frankenstein I, in it? I can't believe they're not. Not Frankenstein, but that little that other dead guy. That wasn't Frankenstein. Oh, but that guy. He's in it? They tell the story how that guy was uh, correlated when they were little kids. The little kid part in the beginning when the three witches are little girls, that was really bad acting. That was really bad. Uh, shitty. Yeah, you little girls. Get your shit together. But when the real, the real, I was going to say the real bitches, I might as well just say witches because it's just one different word, one different letter. When the real B witches. witches when the, the real BBW witches. The real bitches came back. Those bitches were good, dude. It was, it was a really it's good on story. what, Disney Plus? Yeah, or on that website that I have that I'm going to get to. Too. On the website, too. I have everything on that website, dude. It's, and it's also like chronologically ordered where you can go back in time. Time machines. Woo! There we go. But you can come back from this one. Yeah, the first one was classic. I haven't watched the second one because, I don't know, because I just haven't. It was kind of racist, though. But it is spooky season. It is. It's spooky season, though. Bro, I was going through the... I was going through the 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 new movies that come on the website I'm like well, I was telling my girl like why the fuck are all the scary movies They're like it's October it's spooky season I was like, and she's into all that shit and I was like oh my god it's bump, it's pumpkin spice latte season fuck. yeah pumpkin spice latte is fire though did you know that pumpkin spice latte has no pumpkin yeah, in it you said that before and it fucking ruined me <laughs> I just it was just you. like how red velvet is red velvet isn't even red bro when I met my girl she when I told her what her, what her favorite cake was she goes oh it's red velvet I'm like did you know that red velvet is just chocolate cake with red food coloring she has Some never bullshit. ordered red velvet until this day she goes you ruined it for me I'm still gonna eat it <laughs> I'm, eat I'm like one a, of those people where like I have to ruin it but like I'm still red gonna, velvet cheesecake I'm still gonna eat it ooh that's my favorite fire that shit is delicious you know the best part about the red velvet cake is like the icing is basically cheesecake like it's so like, yeah. it's so oh, cheesecake rich. is delicious bro fuck, that, I don't even know cheese and cake those are two fucking amazing things did you see that fucking big ass cheesecake I had in the fridge last week it took yeah. me a week oh, but I, I ate that shit but I finished that shit and even though it was making my shit like yellow and hard as shit I couldn't really shit like there was no fiber I still ate that shit every after every meal I had that shit's fire so good you see, I saw this thing where the new like LAUSD they're doing something about trying to like calling diet culture like fat phobic they were just saying, like, diet's not a real thing. Like, you shouldn't have to reward yourself for the punishment of eating vegetables and yada, yada, yada. And it's like all this dumb shit and everyone talking about it is fat. And you're like, well, no, it's not that. It's just, like, for your health. It's not yeah. trying to, like, make you fat phobic. It's like because you're fat and it's not good for your health. Like, I'm not the healthiest person, but also, like, I know I should eat more fucking vegetables and shit and eat a little cleaner. I think, and also a big thing is, like, the whole three meals a day thing is like, that's just something new. Like, I'm sure our ancestors went probably like a week sometimes without eating shit. Well, yeah. And also drinking water. Do you know that you can't give a baby, a newborn baby water? Like, it's too toxic for him? You have to give him like, well, probably because the water is all fucking 
fucked up. No, but babies don't drink water. Like they drink formula. They don't drink. They only they eat whatever the tit, you know, and it has water in it, obviously. And then their baby food has water in it. I think all humans over time have got their water from like vegetables and plants that have or, like, like a cucumber. A cucumber is like ninety eight percent water. You should still drink water, people. You're not a baby. Drink water. <laughs> <laughs> But I'm saying like You're not an infant. But I'm saying like there's always like there's always a monetary game for like the people who sell water. They get the water out of the ground. Big, no, I always talks about big pharma. No one talks about big, big water. water. <laughs> Fuck, dude. <laughs> like they get water out of the ground and then they sell it back to us. Welcome to the conspiracy outlet, bro. We got our, tin, our tinfoil caps on. No, this I'm whole saying. episode is gonna get flagged. <laughs> Fuck it. Hey, we got a hundred views. We did it. We did hey, it. We made it. We did it. We can retire. We did it. Yay. Hey, bro. Backpack, backpack. I got a fucking email. Uh, a email on Sunday. I was at Jordan's baseball game, Huntington Beach. Shout out to Huntington Beach. It's fucking sick over there. Like they, that's where they goddamn MAGA baby. That's where they practice like the Air Force. It's just a bunch of fucking. Oh, milita- that's the, the Sky Show. No, they're just practicing like military. All, well, they, they had a show sometime last. I think it was Sunday. That's probably what you saw. I saw it Saturday and Sunday. Yeah, I was there they have things. like actual. They had like a, a like a Sky Show. Them shits are crazy. No, no, no. Okay, I know what you're talking about, but. Where they have like the smoke and they do aerial assaults and shit like that. Yeah. But I told Jordan, because Jordan plays there all the time. Like, Jordan, is, is there always like that? He goes, yeah, every time you come here, I fucking hate it. It's so loud. I'm like, this is fucking awesome, dude. What was crazy is I remember I was walking to work and during that day and they were having the Sky Show or whatever. And like fucking fighter jets were like flying over. And I was like, that's crazy. Like, they were flying over me while I was walking to work. And I remember I looked back just to see if I could see one coming. And I looked back and I was like, oh, I didn't see shit. Turn around and I shit you not, five text. Five, ten seconds later, shoom, and I was like, that was kind of cool. I was like, <laughs> they literally came out, like, I looked out of back nowhere. and saw nothing. Out of thin air, and they come out. ten seconds later, yes. this fucking jet just comes, and I was like, that's how we killed Osama. Yeah, That's fucking, bro. that shit was sick. And I was thinking, so quiet until oh they, like, God. get over you, and I was like, that was fucking insane. I was thinking the exact same thing, like, bro, if I was, like, an infantry on the enemy side and the fucking one of those planes came, they, I, I, you can't do nothing but just watch the bomb come hit you in the fucking and face. just die. Bro, you yeah. can't escape that shit. It's so fast. Well, remember after the 9-11 shit? When they put it on TV, when we were bombing the shit out of Afghanistan? Yeah. And it looked like fucking fireworks and shit? Boom, boom, boom. Yeah, yeah, they just put it on fucking national television, like, here, watch this shit. So the reason why I, was, I brought that up is because I was sitting there watching Jordan's game. I get an email from Credit Karma, and it says, your two student uh, student loans have been wiped from your from your credit. And I was like, what? Thanks, Biden. I was like, what? So I went on there to look, and dude, my both of my, I only had like 5000 left on each, right? And uh, that shit's gone. Like, it shit deleted from my fucking credit. And then a week before that, I saw that uh, the Ukraine is actually pushing back Russia and that since the Ukraine war started, like 19 Russian generals have gone missing. And I was like, this sleepy Biden just turned into shysty Biden? Damn. Shiesty. He's deleting If loans. Joe Biden wants to get reelected, <laughs> he needs to put that shysty mask on. Bro, just that walk outside with the shysty and 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 mask on. And the aviators he be rocking. Bro, he deleted my fucking debt. And he's been, he's out here murking Russian generals. Like he, they put a picture out and then just go X'd, Joe. They just X'd out a bunch of fools. Yeah, fuck Brandon. I was like, go pretty, Joe. I was like, pretty gangster, dog. And I ain't gonna lie. Just a little bit. Just a little gangster. Out it was here. it was like a rope of dope. Like the first two years, they're just gonna make him seem like the worst person ever. And then out of nowhere, boom, 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 boom. Well, because they don't want Trump to come back. Damn. What if I always thought? I always thought Trump was like whatever. You know, like he's kind of funny. He's cool. He's hilarious. He's he's like a, the meme president. But, like, what if Trump, if there was anybody out there that was in the pockets of Russia, in the pockets of China, in the pockets of, like, our enemies, it would be him. Where, like, say say we get invaded by China, right, or Russia, and they take us over, they really fuck us up somehow, some way. We say that happens. They're like, all right, we'll leave, but only if we'll, if Trump, because he's cool with us, we'll make him your president. And then you're like, damn, can we really trust this fool? Because he's homies with all the enemies. Like, are we really, like... No, he's not to be trusted. Yeah. No, he's fun. He's a fun guy, but shouldn't be president. He's a fun guy, though. He's like a drug dealer. Like he, he, He's the homie. He's fun. He's but the he, homie, but yeah, I'm going to invite guy. you over to my house for <laughs> Christmas and shit. Yeah, I'm not thinking. <laughs> exactly. I'm not yeah. thinking the Thanksgiving dinner, bro. Yeah, I don't want you to meet my family and shit. And like, yeah, I don't really trust you like that, but yeah. But we had some great times, guys. Yeah, we had some good times. We had some good conversations <laughs> at 7 in the morning. But yeah, fuck all that. Damn, dog. 
That's hilarious. But yeah, Hocus Pocus 2, uh, I gave it like a six point. <laughs> yeah, Hocus Pocus 2. Where the <laughs> fuck do we go from Hocus Pocus? <laughs> this is one of the greatest segments of podcast history right here. How the but, fuck um, did we get there from Hocus, Hocus Pocus? Pocus? Hocus Pocus 2, I give it a 6.7. A thousand years of loading, I'll give, I'll give you a 6.7. <laughs> I give it a 7.2. Uh, and Mo, I can't give you that. Mo, for sure, I gotta give it like an eight point three. That's that's the highlight of my week Definitely so far. Can't give you that. That was dope, dude. If I pull back deep enough, like back into my in my own body, I could give you like an eight. You give it eight? I can give you an congratulations. eight. Congratulations. But just the, the the whole other parts of my body is just never gonna let it get there. I heard something where it's like every 15, 20 pounds is like half an inch of dick. I've I've done that before. I think it, no, I gotta it, lose weight. No, it's every fifty pounds. Every fifty pounds, you lose an inch, a full ah. inch. A full solid good inch, bro. Nah, I'm good. I don't need to lose 50 And then pounds. also on top of that, your skin it also gets a little bit more like loose, your dick skin. So like, oh man, it's just. Good old loose dick skin. Man, you can't That's what he used to call me in high school. <laughs> hey, it is loose dick skin. Here he is. 